Greetings, Naka. Over the next several weeks, expect to hear some crazy stuff from Team NDJH. They started with I'm a liar and I've got no character. Next up, I'm an alien. Or I wasn't in the Marines. Or maybe even I'm a member of the Chinese Communist Party. I think they're getting desperate, so who knows what they'll make up. Just remember, these are coming because they need to distract you. They need you to miss the obvious facts that have been in front of the voters since the beginning of this campaign. You see, they built their campaign on a false premise. They built it on the premise that the 2016 CBA was the greatest contract ever written, and they are the owners of that contract. Now, after months of being shown that it's not, after months of showing the math that details its financial shortcomings, they need to distract you. But this election is about one thing. Listen, this election is the ratification vote that everyone wanted on the extension to the 2016 slate book. On one side, you have Team NDJH and their supporters who've doubled down and attempted to extend the slate book to 2029. On the other side, well, it's everyone else. Both Rich Santa and I opened our campaigns with a return to the table messaging to fix the contract. And that message has not changed. They will try some nuanced argument that no one can really understand, but those are just distractions from the facts. It's bait and switch. They started with the greatest contract in federal history, and they believe you're paid well enough. Do you really think they've moved? Do you really think that they agree that Jamal was part of a negotiating a contract that underpays you? Of course not. They're too arrogant. It's all pivots and doublespeak. Don't get distracted. Stay the course. Return to the table and fix the pay. It's that simple. Talk soon.